All right, guys, today we're taking a look at some new ransomware. Yes, this is a bit more advanced than the previous ransomware we've looked at recently, relatively recently. And what I mean by that is that it goes the extra step. And you'll see what I mean momentarily. But first, a uh, quick little recap of what happened before with ransomwares. Um, the recent ones have been basically a block page comes up saying that you need to go run to the store and buy some money pack cards and you deposit those into some form and three hundred dollars later you have your files back because they were all hijacked by the FBI or somebody and if you didn't pay that fine you'll never use your computer again and you'll go to jail blah 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 so you know that was pretty effective but this ransomware says you know what People are getting around that, so we're going to actually encrypt the files this time, and then charge people the $300, and then we'll decrypt it whenever we feel like it. So, before we actually open the program, let's go ahead and make some files. Uh, we'll just use paint, we'll make some art. Yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah. Alright, we'll save it. As art dot jpeg there we go uh, we'll make a text file we'll just go with a generic text file text dot text and there you go that looks good good document uh, we'll fire up word pad put some stuff in there we'll close it save it desktop docx file save there we go and then we'll put everything into an archive oops hang on uh, send to uh compressed zip folder art.zip that'll work all right so we have our zip file our text documents and an image let's fire up the ransomware and the file as you can see is gone and everything has been replaced with HTML files. And here it is, Decrypt Protect. Working to protect internet networks worldwide. And I don't know if I said it earlier, but this is referred to as the MBL ransomware, or Decrypt Protect. But we're just going to call it the MBL ransomware, because that's what it says. And that's the URL it will connect to, as you'll see momentarily. So it is talking about, uh, we've got an order number over here, we've got an IP address, we've got our location. We have been tracked for a week and 50 minutes by somebody called Stive Morgan in Amsterdam. I'm assuming that's some kind of Dutch name, Stive. So it is referring us to something called Reload It which is claims to be a very unique payment system in the United States, but it's actually just exactly the same as Money Pack by Green Dot. Or is it Green Dot by Money Pack? Uh, it doesn't really matter. You buy a card, it's like a prepaid card, you put in a code, and it, just, and it is telling us to go buy this card so we can get rid of this block, the most safest way to pay us. You have to go to horrible places like Randall's and Tom Thumb and Vaughn's and Safeway and Cars Safeway and Gennardi's or Gennardi's and Dominic's or Pavilions. Horrible, horrible places. You would never want to go there. So it says we have 48 hours left to enter my payment, but as you can clearly see, I have 79 hours, 42 minutes. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but, you know, whatever works. And, you know, at this level, it's basically the same as the other ransomware. Pay $300, get your files back. But with this, it actually takes your files away, which is very unique in the sense that GP Code has already done this, but... You know, it's unique. It really is, because, uh, well, I'm not sure any ransomware has tried that recently. So, it is telling us we violated something Patriot Act, 
We have DDoS, NASDAQ, and BATSS, and WikiLeaks something or other, malware block list, uh, I'm a distributor of pornography and porno materials, and I possess unlicensed software and pirate audio and video records. And it says we're going to go to jail for, uh, I believe it was 5 to 30, or 15 to 30 years, okay. And it says we have a, a couple of organizations, we have Decrypt Protect in Amsterdam, and we also have U.S. Decrypt Protect Limited, 1331 Upland Drive, Houston, 77043, with the phone number 1-206-203-1741, feedback and suggestions. Oh, you thought I could resist that? You really think I could resist that? Let's give it a try. Come on. I only have 10 minutes on this phone, so i uh, not going to be able to have a very long call if we can connect at all. So, what's it? 206203-1741. Let's try it. Line busy. So... That happened earlier when I tried to connect, and I'm not sure if the line is just dead completely or if they're really taking calls or something's happening, but not able to have a good call with this thing, so perhaps next time I'll do that. It also has some interesting stuff here over on the left. Note, if we won't receive a full payment, you will never be able to decrypt your files. Okay. If you think our actions are illegal, you can dispute through a written notification addressed to your assigned agent. All your files will be available to you if you pay the fine within the next 48 hours, or author authorities going to have to seize your computer. Like, okay. We guarantee that all your files will be restored safely once we receive your payment, and we do not negotiate with malware and spam distributors. All threats and intimidation will be challenged in court. Oh, really? I really wish I could try that. But, we can't. And we also have something called Video Tutorials, which tries to open some kind of page, but the player is gone. SproutVideo.com has probably pulled it or something. So let's get to what it's done, actually. And as you can see, uh, it's made all of our files into HTML files, actually. Uh, you can actually close this, but it just keeps coming back up, so it's kind of annoying. So, as you see, there it goes, but it just comes right back. And even dragging it down like this doesn't help for long. As you can see, it just comes back. Uh, task Manager, well, doesn't really run. And Removal is really only half the battle with this, because... Even if you remove this, you're still going to have all of your files encrypted by, uh, what is this, Decrypt Protect. So uh, let's go ahead and see what it's actually done to our files. And, you know, we can't really do anything in normal mode, so we're just going to have to reboot into safe mode. We'll do uh, safe mode with networking. It works fine. And let's see, let's go ahead and fix our screen resolution first. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, it has trashed our uh, shortcuts, actually, in the start, or in the system tray thing. And let's see, let's look at our text file. That'll be the easiest. So we'll just go ahead and open it with Notepad, because it is a text file. And as you can see, it has been changed to an HTML file, linking to mblpcblock.in. And here's our encrypted data right here. And somehow you get uh, whatever gibberish I put in. Maybe it was just text, I don't remember. But that is our text. Not really usable at this point, unfortunately. And as far as I know, there is no way to actually decrypt these. And of course, I'm not speaking in the future, I'm speaking in the past, because it is 
the 17th day of the fifth month of 2013. And as far as I know, like I said, no uh, publicly documented way to decrypt these files. I'm assuming, though, that it's not going to take very long for somebody to uh, figure out the decryption method and upload a program or something. So I will make a follow-up video on that once that occurs. And I'll make a... I'll have the removal process in that video as well. Uh, removal right now is a little pointless because, you know, you still have the encrypted files, and that's a major problem. But, yes, like I said, I will make a follow-up video on this when a new, uh, new way to decrypt these files comes out. So, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned.